This is Manila. This is Philippines, home to over 7,600 islands with more than 170 languages and dialects. Today we have a very special episode. Check out the t-shirt, that's gonna give you a hint on what today's episode is all about. So just a little bit of background about myself. I was born in the Philippines, in Visayas region, so I speak fluent Visaya and Tagalog and a little bit of Waray, since the region or the island that um, I'm from speaks Waray. So yeah, so I'm excited to show you the Filipino community here in New York City, where I've lived for the last 10 years. All right, so this is our first stop of the day. We're going to a place that's only been open for about a month and a half, and it has something that I haven't seen in New York City until now. It's Capet Torta, which literally translates in English, coffee and cake. Yes, let's do it. I need some coffee in my life right now. We haven't had breakfast yet. Let's go. Filipino coffee, native of the Philippines. From Philippines, in Batangas. So the special thing we were talking about outside that you can't normally find in New York is Cape Baraco. But I actually tried Cape Baraco last year. We were in Davao City, Philippines, and I love the coffee. So we took a sip of it. We haven't had breakfast yet. We're having torta for breakfast. And we're having cheese in Saimada, which is really good. Traditionally, torta in Saimada is just a merienda. It's very moist. Oh, it reminds me back home. So soft and filling already. Wow. So this is Saimada is like a really awesome blend of sweet and savory. Like you take a few bites, and once you get to the filling, you really taste that cheddar cheese coming out, and it's a very moist and pillowy. It's so slightly sweet, it's buttery too, very buttery. This is, this is a really nice breakfast pastry. So let's chat a bite of this torta cebuana. Torta is like a little cake. Mm. It's got the texture of like a classic sponge cake, but you really have a nice anise flavor in there. That anise flavor jumps out right away. You get a little bit of the sugar grains on top, a little crunchy, it's really nice, not too sweet. I love that anise flavor though, it really what makes it special. You haven't tried it in the Philippines, no? No. Sorry. <laughs> but we've had many and plenty pandesal. I've got to right. try to show my love what it's all about. Fading up, fading down below the lazy guns. Now we're here for our second stop of the day called Saraling Atin. Which is a turo turo. In this side of the world, it's called turo turo, but normally in Philippines, you it's in a, it's like carinderia. In here, it's like in a restaurant. -esque. Back home, it's outside of a house. Yeah, it's like a steam table atmosphere here, and saddling atin means our own. It's one of our favorite spots. Let's see what they have today. Yep. Let's go. Isang munggo, isang popis. Mumba is calling my name. Do you got time? We got here. What's cool about this spot is that you can choose a bunch of different dishes with rice. So we have four dishes, all different types. We actually wanted just to get three because it's combo. It's for combo. Combo one, two, or three. But Kuya, Kuya wanted us to try the goat adobo or goat adobo kambing. We have four very different dishes here. So right here, the adobo kambing. That's goat adobo. Yeah, the bow piece. That's all the chopped up good stuff. Innards. There's liver. There's stomach lining. And lots. Lungs, hearts, livers. Liver. All the innards. All the good stuff. You love innards? This is your dish. What do we got? 
Mangos. Or mango. There's a uh, stewed mung beans, there's hapalaya, bitter melon, tomatoes, which is tomato. And then we have a uh, chicharron in there too. And but maybe the best dish of all here is the Miko Express. That's the pork belly with the coconut milk and the shrimp paste. Ooh. I've had it in a while, I'm really excited. Let's eat. Let's try this go first. Oh, it's so soft. Mm. Oh, it's so tender. That goat's just falling apart. It's got pieces on the bone too. And it's a little peppery. But it doesn't have too much gamey flavor. But you still taste the goat. But not gamey at all. So good. Both piece of my life. <laughs> I like all the textures you get from the innards. You got a little crunchy, you got the irony, liver flavor too, you get the hearts, all that good stuff. So the textures, the flavors, this is sitting in this sauce. Very light sauce, kind of lets the innards speak for themselves. Got some chopped up veggies in here too. <laughs> Balance it up. Mm -hmm. and the Beagle Express has been one of our favorites from here for a while, so. It's, they give you here big chunks of pork belly. It's just sitting in this creamy coconut milk shrimp paste sauce. Mm. Mm. I just love that combo of the creamy coconut milk and the shrimp paste and it's also spicy. That's a key part of the Bicol Express is spicy. There's chili flakes in here. What makes it really nice too is that it's been sitting in that steam table just stewing in there. It's just making it super tender and just stewing in all those flavors. Mm. So you have funk, you have creamy, you have spicy. The flavor explosion of all three. Mm. Excellent. Then last but not least, we gotta have some veggies in here, right? We have to have a balanced meal. We need some vegetables. You know, Doc is telling us we need more vegetables. <laughs> but we got a little bit of place. The vegetables are gonna come with some pork too. Very soft. So it's these stewed mung beans. It's all these other vegetables here. You got the apalaya, the bitter melon. Let's, let's just get a bite. Let's get a scoop of all of that in there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you really taste the apalaya. It's got that little bitter kick. The mung bean, the mongo, the mung beans are really soft. It's a bit saucy from here, and then you have that bits of tomato for a little sweetness, and then you have the earthy greens in there too. Mm. It's an excellent dish. Now it's cool, the spot, it's been here for several years, so it was only for a while, it was just a back seating area in the back of a grocery store with a steam table, but now they've actually made that one spot just for the food, and they've expanded to a next door location with a huge seating area. It's actually our first time eating here in the new seating area, so congrats to Silent Happiness. That means they're doing well if you have a second expansion here. This is great. Sadling so Hatim is an awesome spot. It's uh, right by Queen Center Mall and Queen's Place Mall, two big shopping centers. Matter of fact, Queen Center Mall is the most profitable mall by square footage in America. It's a crazy fact, right? So that's a great spot for some quick bites. But now we've headed to the other side. We've headed down Queen's Boulevard to Woodside. Not in Little Manila yet, actually. We're getting there. But it's actually a good way to talk about how the Philippines has three different regions, for those who don't know. Which is Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Luzon is where Tagalog is mostly spoken, while Visayas and Mindanao, it's more of uh, Visaya. Or some people call it Cebuano, but I prefer to say Visaya. And it actually serves a perfect segue because our next spot is actually owned by uh, a Mindanao native. So yeah, this next spot is owned by a Mindanao native. It's called Tito Rad. It's actually our favorite Filipino restaurant as a whole, we'll say. My favorite restaurant is my mom's kitchen. Oh, your mom's where my kitchen's brothers amazing. cooked. Oh, and your my family's kitchen's cooked. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not a restaurant. <laughs> This is freshly fried chicharron bulaklak. Bulaklak is the pork intestine. It's also called ruffle fat. 
Chicharon bulaklak is just a fancy word for ginabot in Visayas. So I'm going to dip it in the spicy vinegar. Get those good chili flakes. One thing that's missing with this chicharon bolakla is beer. So that's how you have intestines deep fried, vinegar. It's like Jumi said, just need some beer. A little red horse would be awesome with this right now, but this will do quite nicely. And then here we have the koi. Oh, this thing is massive. Look. Can you see me? <laughs> it's vegetarian friendly. Shrimp, bean sprouts, carrots, deep fried. You have some by itself first. Mm. So crispy. That batter is excellent. Let it in the suka. Mm. Mm. It's just so light and airy and crisp. Yeah, you can really taste the bean sprouts, the earthiness of the carrots, and then that clean shrimp flavor. I could just eat this all day long. It's just so good. It's one of the specialties here at Tito Rad's. The menu here is huge. It's so hard to choose and narrow it down because we're eating so much today. But this was a must. Oh, always so good. Third and final dish here in Tito Rad's. It's panga. Tuna panga. Uh, no. So it's crazy. This tuna jaw here, this panga, is a small. Can you believe it? This is a small. We've ordered the large before. That thing is massive. It takes up almost the whole table. But it's kind of like when we were in Davao City. We went to a great spot where they had lots of tuna. At Luz Kililao and Kililao Place. Tuna Kililao. Squid, grilled squid. Kililao na lato or seaweed. Ubul, ubul or a tendon jaw. I mean, sorry, tuna tendon. And this is the panga. Tuna panga, or jaw. It's huge. So this brings us back to there. They had the jaw, because the tuna is very popular in Mindanao. It's, a lot of it comes from uh, Jensan. So let's take a bite of it by itself. It's got a nice crisp on the outside. It looks very tender, meat. Mmm, mmm. That tuna jaw is just buttery soft. It's got that great grill flavor on the outside with just a slight bit of crisp to contrast that soft. Mm. It's got a slight pleasantly fishy flavor, a little oiliness to it, delicious, even by itself. All right, so we're at Jollibee. We're not going to eat here. So significant about this Jollibee is the first Jollibee on the East Coast. That's and right. And since then, they've opened up one near Times Square. And I bet you there'll be a whole bunch more that open up around the East Coast. Jollibee's going to take over. We just got to face it. <laughs> yep. Too delicious. So we've come to the so-called Little Manila. As a Filipino, I refuse to call this place Little Manila because this is not... Philippines is not just Manila. Rant. <laughs> Rant over. <laughs> but now back to the good stuff. So we can't do a Filipino food video without this classic street food. Take a guess what that is. Give you a few seconds. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to see you. Like a visa. Renee's. It's an OG in the neighborhood. This is here since 1992. They uh, specialize in food from Pampanga, which is supposed to be the culinary capital of the Philippines. And one of the most signature dishes of Pampanga is sisig, sizzling sisig. 
So the beauty of this one is that they have the way it's supposed to be served and all the chopped up uh, pig face. So you have the snout, the jowl, the ears, all the good stuff. I know a lot of restaurants here, they do the pork belly and chicharron to simulate the crunch. We got with the egg yolk on top, chopped up with onions, scallion, jalapeno. We squeeze some lime on top. Oof. The core here with the red horse. <laughs> so let's try some of the seasick. Try to get everything in there. Try to get the little jalapeno. Oh, it's great. It has, you really get that intense porky flavor. You get the, the slight cartilage bits from the face. You have the spicy from the jalapeno in there. Well, you get the spicy from the chili. The green chili gives it a nice kick. You get the, the lime squeeze on top gives it that sour tang. You got some more crunch from the onions. Then you have the egg in there too, that creamy egg that's been cooked now. Oh, this, there's a reason why this is like a gateway dish. This is a, like a classic signature Filipino dish. Be definitely one of the first ones I fell in love with after I fell in love with Yumi. <laughs> All right, now it's time to eat some of this kare kare. So first, we have some of this oxtail. It's just falling off the bone. I love oxtail in all forms, Jamaican, Cuban, anyway, but it's the only one I know is oxtail in a peanut sauce. So there it is, dang it off the bone. Mm. Oh. The oxtail is just melting and you taste that peanut butter flavor but it doesn't overwhelm it all oh, for that tender piece of oxtail. Mm. Let's take some of this tripe. Dip it in the bagwong, the fruit paste. The next day was not fun at all. We were afraid that she was going to be the bug wong is intense. It has that fishy kick, salty, adds a funk to it. Let's get a bite of the veggie, tripe, and a little bit of oxtail all together. Mm. Here, you gotta get that bug wong, you gotta put it in there, mix it in. So then, first you taste the peanut sauce, mix it in with that chewy tripe, and then the bug wong kicks you at the back end. You taste it at the end, that little salty. Funky kick at the end, and then the crunchy veggies. This is a great dish. You have veggies, you have meat, and you have the shrimp paste in there. Mm. Kare kare is definitely another one of the best Filipino dishes out there. Last but not least, we got pinapa. Your, your favorite? Yes, I, I love it. Uh, I tried it here for the first time. It's a uh, smoked milkfish. Oh, I'm gonna smell the smoke. It smells like bacon. Like this could be a perfect pescatarian substitute for bacon because it's just. Oh, I love that smell. What I've been waiting for right here. Oh. First time I ever had it was in this restaurant. No, we oh. did. <laughs> so, let's hear that crunch. Oh, oh. Let's hear that again. Mm. I really like fish bacon right here. Like, it's so smoky, it's so crispy. Mm. Smells incredible, tastes incredible. This is a sleeper right here. I think this is this quickly became one of my favorite dishes. This really could be a perfect pescatarian substitute for bacon if you want it. Man, this is seriously good. Filipino food crawl is never complete without dessert. And if you can guess it, I hope you can guess it. And if not, here it is. Yes. All That's right. That's not the dessert. This is it. <laughs> well, maybe I am, right? I don't know. So we got here, we got the halo halo. So you've seen us eat some awesome halo halo in our frozen dessert video. Check it up up here. We got a car right there. I'm gonna spot right down the street. But we're here at Crystal's. It's an OG in this neighborhood also. So it's only fitting we went from the OG Renee's to another OG on the corner, Crystal's Cafe. Oh, you got it here all mixed up. A big reason why there's so off the chain is their leche flan is just so good. It's so creamy, not too sweet. Oh, uh, we love their leche flan even on its own. Then they got in here the mango ice cream. They got plenty of ube on the side. They got the coconut gel, the sweetened beans, and all that good stuff in here. And we got it all mixed up. Halo halo means mix mix. So let's do it. If you've made it this far in watching our videos, 
Thank you so kindly for watching. Salamat kayo sa pagtanaw ha. Sana na-enjoy nyo ang aming video. Palihog Paki, please subscribe to our channel. Palihog Paki, please like our videos if you enjoy it. If you don't, well, watch it and then share and then like it. <laughs> <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed this video of ours. Thank you so much for watching. Salamat kayo. Before we forget, <laughs> please smash that like button. Subscribe, hit the bell. You want to be the first comment, right? Yes, you do. Thanks for watching. See you soon. See ya. Sir, we got we worked on our parole and some Filipino restaurants already have their Christmas tree up. Yeah, September. Summer is still going on, folks, but I love it. That's fe it's festive. It's what four months celebrating. Yes. It's amazing to have something to celebrate four months. Filipinos are known to be the Christmas the celebrate. longest celebrant, the longest celebrants of Christmas. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I just read that the other day, actually, too. So it's it's different when it's back on. I feel like I'm in the Philippines right now, outside Sari Sari store, and just. Come by outside. The only thing missing is karaoke machine, beer, and balot. Kuya balot or ate balot selling yelling balot. And bye friends!